Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with class diagrams inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will also look at how to download and install the necessary components to get us started. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. So let's get to it then. So as you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio installer opened. But obviously, before we go ahead, in Visual Studio 2022, the class designer allows you to design, visualize, and refactor classes and other types in your code with class diagram. In Visual Studio, you can use class diagrams to create and edit classes in C Sharp, Visual Basic, or C++ projects. You can also use class diagrams to understand your project structure better or reorganize your code. Class diagrams show, I mean, class diagrams show the details of types. For example, their constituent members and the relationships between them. So enough of all of the talking, so let's get to the real juice. So if you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio 2022 installed. So if you haven't done it, I suggest to do so. And once you've actually completed installing the Visual Studio 2022, you open the installer again, then you come to modify, yeah? So here on the modify, we click on the individual components, but you gotta make sure that you've got at least the ASP.NET and web development workloads installed, right? So once you've got that bit sorted out, then we come inside the individual components. So here, before we even go ahead, yeah, this is what I'm gonna say, yeah. So basically the visualization of these, I mean, okay, so we're just gonna talk about that later. So we just scroll down, yeah. Scroll down to um, code twos. So here the code twos here. So if you can see here, just a second bit here, we've got a class designer. So we've got to check on this box here. So once we check on this box there, we click on the modify. So while it's being modified, so this is what I was gonna say. So the visualization of these entities, which is the classes or types, is a dynamic view into the code. So this means that you can edit types in the designer and then see your edits reflected in the source code of the entity. Similarly, the class diagram is kept in sync with changes you make to, to code files. So you edit your project code by editing the class diagrams, add new elements and delete unwanted ones, which we're going to have a look at this. And of course, your changes are reflected in code. So as you can see, the download and installation is being completed here. So I'm just going to post the video while the whole thing finished up. So now, as you can see, we've actually got the installation completed. So what we do next is we launch the Visual Studio 2022. So we click on the launch here. Yeah? So here, we, we're going to create a new project. So we select all languages. So we're going to create a C sharp class library project. Yeah. So it's a co I mean the console app. Yeah. So we've got C sharp console app. This is a project for creating a command line application. If you don't know that. Yeah. So we click on the next. So here, you you are prompted to configure the project details. We're not going to look too much into that, but you can do so if necessary for you. So we click on the next. And here you can also select the .NET framework that you want to use. You know, in, in our case, it's a 6.0. So we click on the create. So this might take a while. So I'm just going to post it while the whole thing creates. So as you can see here now, we've got a console app created. So I'm not going to talk too much. So we're just going to right click on the project. Yeah. And we add a new item. Yeah, so here we're just going to add a new item or we're going to add a class diagram. Yeah. I mean, a class. 
uh, we're just gonna call it product yeah so as you can see yeah we're gonna make this public yeah so it's a public class product and we add two properties first bit is a uh, So we've got um, an int, we're just going to make an ID for product ID and we're going to add one more property. So this will be a string. So here we're just going to name, we're just going to give this a name for the product name. So that's all we're going to do for this bit here. So once we've actually created this product class, we save it and we build the project. So we build a project. So the exception or non exception, blah blah blah. So it's that okay in the application, the location of the application. So we're not gonna look too much into that, yeah. Since this video is not for that, so I'm just gonna right click on the program, yeah. Okay, so here. There's one note that I'd like to make. Um, I've had to change the project to a .NET framework project, yeah? Because that's the only way the class diagram will work. So basically, what we do next is we right click on the product. So as you can see here now, we can see the view class diagram. So we can click on it, yeah? So as you can see here now, so we can view the project, yeah? I mean, with the class in a, in a class diagram, yeah? So as you can see, uh, this the this the the class in code. So we're just gonna put on the on the other side, yeah. So as you can see, we've got it here. So we've got the ID and the project. I mean, the product name. So if we add anything here, that should reflect on the on the on the on the diagram, yeah. So basically, we can add um. So we could just say price. So as you can see here now, we've got we've actually got it actually reflected here. So we can we can we can actually tap here and we can actually add a property here. So so as you can see here, we can add um, description here. And then we select the data type, which is string. Yeah. And of course, it's a public class. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've actually got uh, the property created here. And as you can see, we've got it actually reflected in a code here. So we can also add a new class here by right clicking it inside the diagram. And as you can see, we're able to add some other types here, like enums, interface, abstract classes struct delegates and whatnot yeah so we're just gonna add a new class yeah and this class we're just gonna call this category and it's actually category dot cs so as we can see we should get a class created here so as you can see category dot cs created for us so it's very simple i'm not gonna take much of your time since you can actually do a lot from here so what i'm gonna do is make another video on this topic and we look at uh, basically relationships between types or objects yeah so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace